Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical technologists by Ear Tech. In this video, we will discuss about Staphylococcus aureus lab diagnosis. Staphylococcus was one of the leading infections in the hospitals and many strains of this bacterium has become antibiotic resistant. Staphylococcus are generally found in the skin and mucous membranes of humans. Among the Staphylococcus, the coagulase positive species that is Staphylococcus aureus and two coagulase negative species Staphylococcus epidermis and Staphylococcus saphropyticus are seen in human infections. Staphylococcus aureus produces a wide variety of virulence factors that contribute to its pathogenicity. Let's check the sample that are expected to contain Staphylococcus aureus blood culture. In most other infections such as in patients with undrained abscesses, bacteria can be found intermittently in the bloodstream. The causative agents of meningitis, pneumonia, pyrogenic arthritis and osteomyelitis are often recovered from blood during the early course of these conditions. Staphylococcus aureus Escherichia coli and coagulase negative Staphylococcus are commonly found in blood samples. The common agents of IV catheters associated bacteremia or Staphylococcus epidermitis, other coagulase negative staph and staph aureus. Biofilm formation. Staph aureus can produce biofilms that are structured communities of bacteria encased in a protective matrix. Biofilms can help protect the bacteria from the host immune response and antibiotics, making infections more difficult to treat. The combination of these virulent factors allow Staphylococcus aureus to cause a wide range of infections from the minor skin infections to life-threatening diseases such as sepsis and pneumonia. Staphylococcus aureus cause community acquired pneumonia in above 60 years old patients. Coexisting illness. Staphylococcus aureus isolated from patients with non lymphocytic leukemia with pneumonia in oral lesions, cutaneous lesions, urinary tract infections, and in hepatitis. Staphylococcus aureus are isolated in lymphoma patients with disseminated disease urinary tract infections, sepsis, and cutaneous lesions. Staphylococcus aureus are isolated from major infections in eye blood culture. Samples are incubated using automated systems. Samples are subcultured when there is an indication of growth on blood agar and McConkey agar for the identification. Invasive devices. Medical devices that have any connection to organs to the outside the body are very problematic because they allow an easy open pathway into the body. Culture samples of catheter tips, tubes, dialysis tubings, feeding tubes, breathing tubes are inoculated in neutron broth or thioglycolate medium. Some samples may be inoculated onto the blood agar by rolling on the surface. Gram stain is done for other culture samples like urine, pus and other body fluids. Staphylococcus aureus are gram positive and they have round or oval in shape varies from 0.5 microns to 1.5 microns. Staphylococcus aureus are arranged in clusters like a bunch of grapes. During cell division they divide along both longitudinal and horizontal planes forming pairs tetrods and ultimately irregular clusters. The similar looking other organisms are micrococci. They are also gram positive, round and size between 0.5 microns to 3 microns. They are little bigger than Staphylococcus and they are arranged in pairs or mostly tetrods. When the smear is heavy, they also look like clusters. There are many biochemical tests to differentiate between Staphylococcus and Micrococcus. The first and simple method is the oxidative fermentative test. Staphylococcus are facultative anaerobes. They grow in the presence and absence of oxygen. But Micrococcus are oxidative. They are strict aerobes, so that can be differentiated. Culture media selection. Staphylococcus grows on ordinary medium 
like nutrient agar medium, pus, urine and other body fluid samples are directly inoculated onto blood agar and mekanchi agar. Pus and other body fluids and invasive materials are inoculated into thioglycolate broth or nutrient broth. On blood agar, Staphylococcus aureus produce creamy white or golden yellow colonies with beta lytic around the colonies. Hemolysis is the virulence factor that makes hemolysis of cells. Staphylococcus do not grow on Mekonchi agar as the crystal violet present in the Mekonchi agar medium inhibits the growth of gram positive bacteria. Growth from blood culture or growth in the thioclyclate broth or nutrient broth are subcultured on blood agar and Mekonchi agar for the identification after the gram stain. Colonies from blood agar, nutrient agar are identified making gram stain. For further identification, catalase test is done on the colonies or the slide method. Staphylococcus are catalase positive, streptococcus are catalase negative. Next, coagulase test is done for the identification of Staphylococcus aureus. There are two types of coagulase. One is free and bound coagulase. Slide coagulase positive colonies are confirmed with tube coagulase method. Staphylococcus aureus are coagulase positive. All other coagulase negative, Staphylococcus needs further identification. Antibiotic sensitivity test is done either by QB bar method or stroke method as a routine test for all Staphylococcus aureus. MIC can be done if the patient is already on antibiotic. MRSA, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. MRSA is any strain of Staphylococcus aureus that has developed through natural selection or acquired through horizontal gene transfer a multiple drug resistant to beta-lactam antibiotics. Beta-lactam antibiotics are a broad spectrum group that includes penicillin derivatives such as methicillin and oxacillin and cephalam such as cephalosporins. MRSA infection is common in hospitals, prisons, nursing homes patients with open wounds, invasive devices such as catheters and in immunocompromised patients. Vancomycin and ticoplanin are glycopeptide antibiotics used to treat the MRSA infections. Vancomycin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Vancomycin resistant Staphylococcus aureus stains that have acquired resistance to the glycopeptide antibiotic vancomycin. For people with MRSA bacteremia in the setting of vancomycin failure, high dose of daptomycin or in the combination of other agents are normally used to treat. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.